to South Korea as well. So let's get out to Jun Yoon, who's watching a few of these names. Jun, so we got SK Hynix so expecting Hyundai, Samsung, CNT later on today. Exactly, Susan. Also, LG Display and KB Financial are coming out today as well. And on the Cosby, if you take a look at the major movers, it's SK Hynix and Hyundai Motors really pushing the index up today. SK Hynix numbers for the second quarter came in just below market expectations, but the markets are focusing on the fact that the operating profit numbers are up 27% year on year and also at 1.3 trillion won, making it significant that this is their sixth straight quarter that they're posting operating profit above the 1 trillion one level. Revenues were up about 18% as well. And again, there had been major widespread concern that weak PC sales, the, the sales trend would be uh, dragging on SK Hynix's numbers starting from the second quarter. But servers and mobile demand for SK Hynix chips offset the weakness in its PC chip sales. Again, operating profit was up by, by more than a quarter. Another factor that's a uh, contributing to the gains that we are seeing today is the last night that SK Hynix announced its share buyback plan in its latest efforts to increase shareholder value and I guess to be more shareholder friendly. Uh, the, the biggest part that the, the markets are focusing on is that the size of the buyback was much bigger than market expectations. Also, they're, 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 just, they're just out with a report right now saying that they will be holding these shares for the long term, that they won't be reselling them after the buyback. SK Hynix will be buying back 22 million shares, which is more than the 3% of all of its total common shares outstanding. And analysts are saying that this is a good move to stabilize the stock. Susan, back to you. Okay, well, June, you know, I guess we have a, a cheap one that might be helping some of the corporate balance sheets, right? The one hitting its uh, two-year low, a two-year low this week versus the U.S. dollar and seeing even more declines today because of that really weak GDP report that we saw for the second quarter. Exactly, Susan. So we are seeing the one uh, weaker against the dollar uh, at a six, 11.61 uh, won per dollar this morning. And also this is, I guess, moving the stock as well for Hyundai Motors. Hyundai Motors has been on a roller coaster ride following the won's moves. And today, ahead of its earnings, we are seeing about a 3% jump for the stock. Uh, they are expected to post numbers below market expectations. And operating profit is expected to come in down about 16% year on year. But again, we are seeing the stock outperforming the broader indexes because we did see a big sell-off earlier this uh, week and also because there is some news that the local reports saying that Hyundai Motors will be deciding on whether or not they will pay, be paying out an interim dividend uh, as early as mm -hmm. Friday of this week and if this does happen this will be the first ever interim dividend that Hyundai Motors pays out. Susan? Okay, thank you so much, Junior, there in Seoul. We're going to get a break here on Squawk. Coming up next, minutes away from the Greater China Market Opens, we have a five day winning.